morning everybody welcome to the first day of vlogmas um it is 5 55 in the morning and i'm just on my way to pick my friend up and we're going for a morning walk it's a stunning day today there's not a cloud in the sky so yeah it should be a nice nice walk a little bit of breakfast for breakfast today I am making a smoothie and I put quite a bit of kind of different things into my smoothie so I'll go through it with you all so the first thing I always use is unsweetened almond milk or unsweetened coconut milk and then I like to add some fruit so I will add either some frozen strawberries or blueberries then I also add some frozen spinach. I just keep my spinach in the freezer because it lasts longer and it helps to cool down the smoothie. And I also add some of this LSA mix. LSA is linseed, sunflower seeds and almond meal. And this kind of acts as like the protein source. Then I also add about a teaspoon of chia seeds. Chia seeds are just a really good superfood. Um, I did a video about why I love chia seeds so much so I'll link that down below if you want to have a look at that video you're more than welcome to um, I also like to add some coconut flakes this is just a good source of um, good fats and I also add a little bit of cinnamon just to give it a little bit more flavoring and then I add a tiny amount of maple syrup just about half a teaspoon just to sweeten it up a little bit or sometimes I might even add a little bit of frozen banana um, that adds sweetness as well so that is everything that I'm adding into my smoothie this morning this morning I want to put up my Christmas tree I don't know why but I always seem to do it on the 1st of December um, so that's gonna be my mission for today last year oh my god I had so many dramas with the tree I put the Christmas tree up in here in that corner actually and Monty he kept trying to eat the tree <laughs> and I kept like telling him no don't eat the tree but he he kept eating it and so I ended up having to move the whole tree into my bedroom because the cats aren't allowed in there um, so yeah I really want to put the Christmas tree out here this year just so we can see it when we watch TV at night um, but I don't know if the cat's gonna eat it again he's a year older this year so maybe a little bit more sense has gone into his little head and he won't eat the tree I don't know so I'm thinking about just kind of setting the tree up in here without decorating it and just watching him for a couple of hours just to make sure he doesn't eat it. Mitzi, she's fine with it. She doesn't go near it, but he likes to play with the ball balls and yeah, he's a naughty little kitty cat. So we'll have to see what happens with that today. Okay, the first mission is to actually get my Christmas tree down from my closet. It's kind of like all jammed at the top there. I have no idea how I'm going to get it down. <sighs> Did it! <laughs> okay, I've got the Christmas tree down and I was thinking about putting it in this corner next to the TV and on top of this little like step thing so it's off the ground a little bit so I think it might deter Monty from eating it you can smell the box just don't eat the tree no Monty <laughs> hello 
don't think this is going to work. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I'm even gonna, going to bother putting it up because... <sighs> what do you think? Okay, I've got the bottom base <laughs> and the top base done. I'm just going to leave it like that for a little bit just to see if Monty... Oh, and here he comes. Just to see what he does. <laughs> I don't think this is going to go down very well. Monty. No. Don't eat the tree. No. Do you understand? No, don't eat it. Are you... No, Monty, no. What are you doing? That'll make you sick. Do you understand me? Okay, the tree is all up. I'm just going to leave it like that probably for the rest of the day just to watch Monty and then tonight if he doesn't destroy it I'll start decorating it. Does anyone else have this issue with cats or dogs or it's so annoying. I just I have a feeling it's going to end up in the bedroom. I really do. He's already like sniffing around it and it's, it's been about one hour and the tree is still standing. Monty, he, he's only been there at once, so I don't know. I don't know if it's because he's gotten tired. He's just like sleeping now. But I still don't trust him. I've actually got to go to work a little bit later, so I just said to Jay like he has to keep an eye on the cat because if he eats any part of that tree I think it's gonna make him really sick so I don't want to risk it um, but yeah I don't know I think I th I'm 50 50 I think he might I think because it's something new like he's interested in it but if he sees it there um, like every day I don't think he'll bother with it so we'll just have to keep an eye on him for today uh, Jay actually hates trees like that he's Canadian so in Canada um, I think most families buy like will get real Christmas trees and in Australia we we do have some kind of farms where you can get Christmas trees from but I remember maybe like five years ago Jay and I we went and chopped down our own Christmas tree <laughs> and we got it home and it was just full of bugs like we propped it up in the house and it looked beautiful but we could just see like spiders crawling around in it and I was like oh my god I don't want all these bugs in the house so Jay got like bug spray and sprayed the tree and within minutes we just kind of heard this like plock 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 noise and we looked down at the tree and all these crickets and moths and spiders were just kind of falling out from the tree there was honestly at least like a hundred dead bugs on the floor from the tree so I was like that's it no more real trees <laughs> while we're in Australia anyway so yeah ever since then we've just bought the plastic trees um yeah when we were in Canada a couple of years ago we went and had the proper real Christmas tree which was lovely and there were no spiders or creatures living in it I think because it's just so cold there that things don't live in them but yeah here in Australia it's just so hot so all the bugs tend to live in the trees but Jay would definitely prefer a real tree but we just we can't do it I'm just about to go to work so I'm just prepping my lunch um, so I'm all organized so in here I have got um, some cabbage lettuce shredded carrot um, 
cashews, sesame seeds and some avocado and then I made a homemade salad dressing and I've got some in here for Jay to have later and then when I get to work later I'll just add a tin of tuna on top so that'll be my my lunch I have just got home from work and Jay said that Monty hasn't really been near the tree all day so I think I might start decorating it and see how we go but knowing my luck I will have it all looking pretty and then Monty will probably start playing with the ball balls or something on there I don't know should I decorate it I think I will Christmas tree is done <laughs> I don't think the camera really likes the wow it really affects the camera the lights that's really weird <laughs> so weird because the lights aren't even flashy but on the camera it looks like they're flashing that's really random but the tree it's turned out okay it's a little bit wonky and I didn't want to put any like decorations on the bottom bit here because the cat will probably just whack them off but yeah I think it should be okay. I'm just hoping Monty doesn't go near it. Um, so now I'm going to cook some dinner. We're going to have a chicken stir fry for dinner tonight. Today hasn't really been too eventful because I had to work. So, But tomorrow I'm so excited. I'm going shopping with my mum. We're going to go do a little bit of Christmas shopping. And yeah, that should be a nice little day out with her. I've got Jay helping me cook dinner, which is really nice. I think I've got a spot coming. Yeah, Jay's cooking the chicken. And then we're gonna add the veggies. So for the veggies, we have got um, some zucchini and carrots. And I just used a julienne peeler that looks something like this. <laughs> Can't really see it. But it makes it into these really cool, like, noodly type of veggies. And then I also have some broccoli and green beans they're going into the stir fry and then I made a homemade uh, like stir fry sauce so in here I put I put I put tamari which is like an organic soy sauce um, chili flakes sesame oil ginger vinegar and a tiny little bit of honey so yeah I'm looking forward to dinner tonight and biggest loser is on so yeah, I'm trying to watch that and cook at the same time. <laughs> I see you at the end of this week. Please don't miss me. No. This is the end result. The carrots and zucchinis kind of act as like <laughs> fakish noodles. They kind of bulk up the stir fry a little bit. But it looks really tasty. I am just going to end my night with my favourite chamomile and honey and vanilla tea. But yeah, today has been really good. I got my Christmas tree up, which is so exciting. It's putting me in the festive spirit. Um, and yeah. Oh, Monty is going near the tree. Monty. I hope you guys have all enjoyed day one of vlogmas and I will see you all again oh, please don't go near the tree um, I will see you all again for day two of vlogmas the main thing that I was focusing on was not to be so caught up with carbs because usually I'm so strict on myself with carbs and I do miss 